Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be talking about one of the material, one of my favorite material that I've been using in my office for immediate extraction and bone preservation, or you can call it socket preservation. In this particular video, you will learn that how simple this material can be for your day-to-day -day work um, to preserve the bone. Um, uh, you're looking at the tube right now, it's tube number 5 was uh, diagnosed uh, with a vertical fracture, uh, endodontic fail, uh, distal lingual pocket of 12 millimeter or even deeper. Um, my attempt usually to before removing the tube is I use the forceps to just test out and see how firm uh, the tube is. In this case, very firm, so I start with a, a buckle. Um, luxation with the straight elevator going around the gum and um, quickly as I can uh, and uh, also go back to the lingo and uh, continue some luxation um, because of the uh, uh, distal and uh, lingo um, bone defect the tube have a wedge already so I can go deeper uh, and um, you can see that um, I can easily luxate the tube more and more and uh, tube is quickly come loose as you um, aim on the wedge area and you push more pressure buckly and uh, once it's loose uh, 150 uh, forcep can be a tool for you to uh, hold and take it out um, you evaluate the tube make sure that you got all the tube out and nothing broken and uh, time for uh, curette um, so um, you are continuous curette uh, the socket until you receive you see a lot of blood come out which is good for uh, the socket to um, heal up um, after um, you do this technique you need blood supply to go in here to heal fast so you really have to scrape along the socket and uh, really irrigate the area, disinfect the uh, sockets completely. The faster, the more you uh, clean and uh, get rid of all of the granulation tissue, it, the better for your uh, healing process. Uh, so I want to make sure usually I irrigate a, with a big syringe and then now a second time syringe. You can uh, use strictly with saline or you can use it peridex uh, irrigation. There is some controversy between peridex and irrigation. I won't go deeper on that. But now we're going to go ahead and f show you the product of the uh, oxygen plug. It comes with the box of four, bar, four uh, in one. And each you can use for one two. <coughs> oxygen plug is very unique uh, product. It, uh, you can mold to um, the tube. Um, whatever tube you're taking now you can mold it to the uh, side of the tube and compress into the socket um, so um, how, that's how it works <coughs> you peel up the uh, box and take out the, um, um, the oxygen plug and uh, plug on the uh, gum after you do that only have the label uh, peel up and uh, stick it on your patient charge uh, let's see how it works I'm now uh, taking it out and uh, go ahead and try on s inside the patient uh, socket and um, it's so easy to do this uh, technique. Normally you would <coughs> uh, take time uh, with the particulate bone graft, you take time, you uh, hydrate the bone, let the bone uh, soak with saline or uh, liquid solution make it uh, hydrated before you do this in this case you don't need it you can put it right on the socket and uh, and uh, and you know uh, compress into the socket and uh, if you have difficulty you can use a little bit of saline on top and and uh, uh, squirt it on the top and you can certainly can push it in uh, and mold the into the socket nicely um, as you can see right now I just did um, so this is done um, if you are uh, doing the uh, bridge prep, you probably can s simply just, uh, uh, you know, make a temporary and uh, let the temporary uh, uh, protect the uh, graft area without sutureing. 
but if you are um, doing uh, implant and you not placing any stay place uh, on top, uh, you um, you should suture uh, up with uh, the socket to protect the uh, graft from uh, coming off. Uh, all you have to do is the uh, uh, horizontal cross uh, technique, <coughs> cross horizontal uh, suture technique, and um, a couple stitch you'll be done. That's it for today. Thanks for uh, checking out the video today. I hope you like it. Um, if you have any questions, you can subscribe uh, under my ch channel and uh, you can uh, message me. I will try to answer the question uh, to the best of my knowledge. Thanks again.